just kidding. Okay, how are you guys doing tonight? Uh, I am just kind of getting everything together. I do have kind of a surprise. And what's going to happen is in this video, during the video, at an unknown time to you as of now, there will be a cryptic message. And it will be about yesterday's video. Okay. Then there will be a second cryptic message. That only lasts for just a couple seconds. And it will be about today's video. So if you see these two cryptic messages. And it's a surprise. And it's a secret. Email me if you're... Um, if you've seen the message, and um, you'll know what to do. Okay? All right, but keep it under your hat and email me if you see the message. Okay? All right, here we go. Okay, I'm chilling out on the rings for now. Um, <sighs> the cell didn't go so well, but... Um, I'm not going to worry about it so much, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the other rings that I have and get it done, and um, like I said, I also have more, you know, jewelry other than rings. I have bracelets, you know, I have necklaces, everything. So, we're going to start. I got my new Cricut board, and the other one is over here. To kind of keep everything cleaned up and nice so I don't have a big bunch of mess. Okay, I like things to be organized. I don't have to be perfect. I just like them organized. Okay, I'm going to start off with a yawn, of course, because it's late. It's almost one o'clock. So, here we go. And I'll use this just to kind of enhance the rings. Um, they'll probably be okay on the gray also. Um, the f these rings, are I'm going through these fast. Um, none of them need to be described too much. They're all sterling. They don't really have stones. Um, but I will size them and I will um, let you guys see them. And someone had said that while I was talking, I wasn't letting people see the rings. Well, when I was talking, I was using the loop on them. So, in order to use a loop, I had to, you know, put the ring up and look. Sometimes it takes a few minutes and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, this is the first ring. And I will show these things to you more. Okay, it's a rose. It is beautiful. It is size. This is an eight and a quarter or almost an eight and a half. Okay. There it is there. It is marked on the inside. Nine to five. I'm still going to loop them just because I think it's appropriate when you're selling sterling. Um, I don't know what this says. I know it says 925, but I don't know if it says anything else. I haven't looked at these in a long time, so this says NV, 8NV, and um, 925, okay? Alrighty. So I'll put this here as we go on to the next. It's very pretty. We'll start right there. Okay, the next one I have, I'm just going to grab them. This is a sterling ring that I got um, not too long ago. And it has the holes for the little crystals. Or CZs that it has on it. It's really pretty. It's unusual. It's very pretty. Looks very good. It is 
Oh, that's weird. This is another eight and a half. That's kind of, that is very unusual. Okay, so I'll show you the stones. I'll see, just see them real well. There, and I think these are absolutely all there. Um, I will let you know if something's missing out of these, and I probably won't sell them. Just usually put them back. Okay, and I'll put this one here. So we've got those two setting. Next, um, on the rows, I'm going to put 12, and on this one, I'm going to put 10. I almost forgot. This is very interesting. This ring is small. It's about six and three quarters. It's almost a seven, but it's just cool. It's right at a seven, really. This is a just a silver band, but it's like, I don't know. I've never seen one quite like this. It's like um, serrated, kind of, to make the silver, the sterling um, glitter. It's like if you look up, if you look at it really close, um, You see what I mean? It's kind of, it's almost like roughed up. Almost a druzy type of, you know what I mean? Look to it. It's soft. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not sharp at all. But I just thought it was interesting. And this little band is a size. Right at a seven. I'll show it to you. It does have a little... I wish I had my metal mandrel. I could have fixed this in two seconds. This has a little lump there. Just needs to be softened. I mean, softened. Rounded. Sorry. Yeah. Just interesting. Let's see. Let's put the rose over here. And put this one here. And I'll put eight on that one. Next, we have, well, that goes with the other one I have. Um, yeah, let me put this aside. I'll get the other one. It's it's a match. It's like a pair. Um, this one's cute. This one is a size. Right at a seven, seven and a quarter. Okay, let me show it to you real good here. Isn't that pretty? I just love that pattern. And it's like a bag. No, it's like emerald cut. It's probably a CZ because it's really, really pretty. I'll show it to you. Isn't that neat? Yeah, that's really, really pretty. Okay, and... I will loop it real quick. This one is um, it is I think it says DG Lamb shoot. I'll show you the crown of it here real quick. It's pretty yeah, it's D, D something, 925. This is what I wanted to show. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'll we'll put this over here. Set that aside. This one, I'm going to put 12 on. Next, we have this beauty. This is like the back, and then this has 
I don't know if this is Egyptian writing or what this is. This is very interesting. It's a really pretty band. Let me loop it real quick. It is. Hmm. Where'd it go? It is. <laughs> that is a maker's mark. And it said, this is guys it has a it says 2 5 of 2014 on the inside and then it says something some kind of egyptian writing can't see it and it is marked i just it's hard to see but i thought that was really really interesting this is a size about nine, almost nine and a half. I just thought it was beautiful. Okay, set this over. Oh, I didn't mean to throw it. Put that one there, it's very pretty. This one, I think we should put, um, it's a little bigger. Let's put 14 on that one. Okay, we have a tiny little butterfly. And it's showing right around five to five and a half. Eh, about a five, five and a quarter. Very, very, very pretty. Sorry. Should have shown it to you first. Isn't that pretty? So it's between five and five and a quarter. It's very nicely made. It's a heavier piece. Um, I don't know what's written on this. I'm not sure. Um. There is a maker mark. What I think is a maker mark. Oh, that looks like a tree. And I'm looking. I don't see anything else on here. Hmm. But yes, it is 925. And like I said, it does have a little more silver content to it. It's just really, really pretty. Okay. And we will do, let's see. Let's do 15 on the butterfly. It's very pretty. Oh, here's a, um, oh, what's that called? Infinity. An infinity ring, sterling. Um, let me check it on the inside real quick. Um, nine two five. That's all I can see on it right now. It just says nine two five. It is a size eight, right at an eight. The band's a little on here. Oh, that's easy to fix. Yeah, it's right about an eight. Okay, I'll show it to you this way. It's very pretty. Isn't that cool? Here, move this one over, and let's do, 
Let's do 10 on this one. I think it's very pretty. It's just different. I've been looking all over for this ring. Dang on it. <laughs> that, that is so funny. Yeah, those are close. Very, very close. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, this is pretty. I just purchased this. Um, this is... Come on. <laughs> it is... Thailand 925 with a very different looking maker mark inside of a, um, like a diamond shape. It has the little tassels. This is really pretty. I'll put it on and show you. Isn't that neat? Love it. I'm going to set that to the side. This is approximately... It's about eight and a quarter. I'll put this here. There we go. Can you just see that better? And those two. There, you can see the dangles better. And that one is 20. Okay. We have a sterling ring that is actually Disney. Let's show it to you real quick. It is darling. I'm going to loop it. 925. And of course it says Disney, and it is absolutely darling. All the stones are there. It's Mickey. And I've looked at this one up. I know how much it's worth, so. This is about a six and a half. Yeah. It sits. So we'll move this one over. And this is a steal at 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put, let's put 22 on that one. Yeah, you can look it up. Um, it'll show you how much it's worth. And I think it's Disney Singapore, I'm not sure where it originated as far as um, being sold. Now I have a filigree piece here that is gorgeous. I'll show it to you real quick before I do my loop. Isn't that pretty? Some of these are just gorgeous. Um, this is China, CN. And I just saw the 925 here with the it's beautiful filigree. There it is. Okay. But this was also tested. I love this. Um, I love the way the band kind of comes up almost like a saddle. But it just looks so pretty on. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. This is beautiful. This hasn't been cleaned or anything. It just came this way. I um most of these purchases, especially with the stone rings, I have purchased from a jeweler. Um, that's why it's hard for me to, you know, just price them real super low because it it's hard for me to get them. This is an eight and a half, also. I'll show it to you. It's very pretty, very unusual. Okay. Set that over to the side. Let's switch these out. So for this beautiful filigree, it's 
let's do um, 15 on the filigree. I'll turn it sideways so you can see it better. I think my box here is getting in the way. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you, I'm going to grab some of these little tiny bands. And we'll go through them so this video won't be quite as long. And we can do it easily. Some of these I've had for a minute. These are very, very pretty. And there's mine. Is that it? Yeah. As you can tell, I just kind of put my things. Now, this is a band. I'll show that later. But these are... Those two a little bit bigger. Oh, there it is. These are very tiny bands. Um, can go there. Is this another little bitty one? Yeah, that's pretty small. Okay. I'll show you all of them. Just kind of up close and personal here. And then I'll go through them, sizing them. This first one is Darling. It's like in little triangles. It is right at an 8. And it is 9 to 5. all it says but this has a tiny stone that I think could very well be tiny diamonds they look like it this ring needs a little cleaning it's darling I'll show it to you up close Isn't that beautiful it's just so sweet what was the, this was right at an eight. Okay, we'll take the Mickey off. We'll move this one over and get a better look at it. And we'll do this one for 10. And if it is real diamonds, somebody got a heck of a bargain. Let's see if you can see it better. Okay, the next one is an Eternity Band. It has some beautiful crystals in it. They are very, very pretty. Very shiny. I'll show it to you up close. All the stones are there. That's a shiner, isn't it? That's pretty. It is just a little bit more substantial than that one as far as weight. This is right at a six and a half. Um, some of these little ones are hard to... This is... 925CNF... Something. FA, no, it's not FAS. It's 925 CN, I think that's an ND. That's all it says. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's a six and a half. That's about, that's about what I remember. There. This one. This is the difference. This one is just a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit thinner on um, this one is. Okay, so I'll turn that to the side so you can see the sparkles. And we'll put. I'm gonna go ahead and put um, twelve on that band. Now this little band is cute. It is um, 
Let me see. I'm missing a ring, and I'm wondering if this is it. But I don't think so. I don't think it doesn't look like the one I was looking for. Hmm. Well, shoot. Mm -mm, I'm not seeing it. I had a ring that had like a sopata mark on it, but I don't think it's this one. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh no, that's kind of crazy. Okay, I'm going to hold on to this one for a minute because I cannot find the mark that I was swearing was on there. Okay, we have another Eternity Band. This is an older piece. Let me check for a maker mark. This was 925. Let's see if it says CZ. A lot of times they mark them. No, I don't see a mark. Let me check out these. These could be... I don't know. These are channel set. Um, yeah, these look like real diamonds. I see the little speckles. I'll show it to you up close. Didn't use a bow. Okay. Um, it's a smaller. It is a five and three quarters. I was hoping this would say something more than just 925. Well, I think that's a maker mark, but I don't know what that is. It's strange looking. Is that where... You know, people are starting to size um, sterling. Okay. Gosh, my eyeballs are going to fall out. Okay, this one's really would be a great enhancer. Um, I don't know if these two sterlings will match. They're not bad. Let's see. Maybe this one. Something like that, maybe. Um, this one, I had another one. Oh, that's pretty. But an enhancer usually is for like a solitaire. But boy, that's a good match, isn't it? That's real pretty. Okay, so for this one, let's do 14 on this one. It's very pretty. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do this one next. I'll show it to you before I do the um, loop. I think all the stones are there. This has never been cleaned. It needs it. Yeah, that would go really nice with this piece. Okay. Check the stones. Make sure they're there. Yeah, let's see. Yes, they look like they're there. These look like there could be something here. This is marked with the maker mark there. There's so many different maker marks. Nobody could ever, unless they knew where they were getting the ring from, you know, from a store. It just says 925 and <laughs> it looks like an E and a sideways heart. Not real sure. I didn't look up here. Um, yeah, this this looks like a little bit of an older ring. Yeah, 
I'll definitely clean this one before all said and done. Um, okay, so I'll show it to you. It's very pretty. That's really a nice ring, seriously. Very, very pretty. I like the way it's um, woven beautifully so let's do let's do 12 on that one that's pretty yeah those are really nice okay so next I have this little teeny tiny guy it's just so sweet let's see which one did I have with it no. This one? Mm -mm. But let me go ahead and show you this and then I'll flip it for you. Now, this is really pretty. It is. It is BBCN925. Hmm, this is a smaller ring. This is a seven and a quarter. Well, this is almost a seven. Now, let's just say seven and a quarter. But I just think it's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Just little CZs from what I can tell. Yeah, nice and shiny. Okay, so I think this one goes first okay there we go oh this is the one i have a ring very similar to this that's silpata but i can't find it it's not this one so i'm just gonna put that over to the side because i have to test it and i don't feel like testing tonight okay don't fall don't fall come back there's that. So those two are showing right at the moment. Okay, put that over there. Next we have let's see. we have oh I should have shown that one too. Hold on there. Yeah, this one. This is so pretty. I'll show you this one while I'm showing those eternity bands. Isn't that beautiful? And this is gorgeous. Very, very nice. Very clean. Very little wear, if any. Um, it is marked. Um, somewhere. I do believe it is, anyway. Oh, shoot. I can't see it. Hmm. Can't tell. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, this is right at eight and a quarter, almost eight and a half. It's very pretty. Okay, I think this is maybe one of the only rings that I have that's not marked. That's not, is that it? There was one of these that just matched this so nicely. Is this one? Nope. Okay, so we're going to take the time out and test this real quick. I've got some 18. This won't take but a minute. Okay, I want everybody to watch. 
because I got this not too long ago. And this should become blue. So let's see what happens. Maybe it's not. That would be terrible, guys. Let's see some. Yeah, because I'm new at using the blue or the 18. I didn't, and a whole bunch of it came out. So I usually only use a teeny, teeny tiny drop. Okay, let's try this. So usually I just use a teeny, just the tiniest little, there we go, come on. And it'll turn blue like this. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it turns a blue. And it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Well. Maybe that one in Sterling. So what I'll do, I'll just sell it for five bucks. If anybody would like it. I don't like that idea. That is there and it's not Sterling. I'm going to put this in the trash. Okay. So if anybody's interested in this ring, it's awfully pretty. We'll just do five on it. It's not sterling. It's got a fuzzy on it. I'm glad we checked it. Okay, let's set it over there. Okay, next. Now we know this one's sterling, thank God. Yeah, that's not good. Like I said, I buy so many things from the jeweler, I'd be shocked. Okay, so this one, we've already tested it. <laughs> oh boy, it is marked also, 95. This is a size seven. And it's, an, it's a half enhancer. It stops there, so it goes around the top part of the ring itself, and then the back part doesn't have the little stones. It's very pretty. So I think we could do what do you want to do? It's a little thicker. Let's do 12 on this one. Next we have a actual eternity eternity band. It is yeah these stones are pretty. You can see the whole back of the stone, um, the faceted stone on this. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's see here. It is really hard to see inside of this ring. Dang it, come on. Okay. I'm looking for an area. I don't think I've ever check this one on the inside okay yeah I had somebody ask me to um, show the rings more when I'm talking the reason why I'm talking is because I'm looping the ring so I'm trying very hard to remember to show the ring before I loop it Because my subscribers and my watchers are very important to me and I want them to be comfortable. 
with watching my videos. Okay, I don't see a mark on this one. So, the stones on this are gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it inside or not. These are beautiful. You can actually see the point of the faceted stone through there. I mean, it's gorgeous. So, since we have no mark, I'm going to check it real quick. Oh, yeah, I know this is strong. Yeah, you can almost tell. It's like butter. One tiny drop. Come on, guys. Just one tiny drop. Come on. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Sir. Yes, everybody. So anything that's not marked that I personally have not already checked, I will check. There we go. Isn't that pretty? That is a pretty blue line, guys. I love it. Okay. Set that over to the side. I don't want to get acid on anything. Okay, so let's put this over. This one here is a size six and three quarter, and it's it's exceptional. It's really really pretty, and like I said, it does have like the whole back of the crystal is out, so you, you that's why you're getting so much of the shine. It is a beauty. Let's see. Look at that. Woohoo. Love it. Okay, on this one. Let me set that there kind of sideways so you can see it. That one too. Turn it that way. So on this one here, we're gonna go ahead and put 15. Now I've tested this one before. It's marked inside. It is another Eternity band. This is 925. I think this is the one that says Thailand. Well, hold on here. Or it doesn't say anything. One or two. Except 925. Yeah, and this has the holes for the crystals also. But they're not sticking out like this one. That's amazing. This is the bar and the, and the circle. So these are, um, this is, um, this is like channel set. Just the bars are sideways. Isn't that pretty? Those stones are gorgeous. Very pretty. That's what it looks like from the side. It's pretty cool. Get a measurement real quick. It is right at a seven. So we will do let's see. Let's do 14 on this one. It's thick. It doesn't even want to go on here. There we go. Yeah, those two are very pretty. There are those two. Okay, let's see if we got some more bands. Oh, yeah. Got this band. We've got a great big band. I think this is the one that's um, 18K over sterling. Anything else? A band? Oh, this is a band. And this is a band. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, let's do these. I'm getting down to the very nitty gritty. Okay, this one says, I'll show it to you real quick. It's gold tone. Oh, gold tone. It's sterling. It's vermeil over sterling. I can't even talk. And it's got beautiful stones. 
on our X's. Let's open on the inside, and it says JBK in big bold letters. And it says, I think that's 18K925. It's very pretty. It is a size. What is this? About a seven and a half. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's really nice, guys. Very pretty. Love it. Okay, I'll set that over. This won't go into the... <laughs> so I'm going to have to set it on top. And on this one here, we're going to do 20. Since it's the 18K over, it's very nice. It's well worth 20. Okay, this one's pretty. This is just, this has the stone that juts out through the back too. It's pretty cool. This is right at, I would say, an eight and a quarter. Almost an eight and a half. And I'll show it to you real quick. See that? And then the stone comes out. You can see the stone in the back of the, like the, um, what do you call it? The faceted tip or the eye of the stone is actually right there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so this says, oh, that's weird. Nine, two, five. And I don't know if that's a scratchy on the inside, but to me, it looks like LC. I don't know. I didn't think Liz Claiborne <laughs> made Sterling. I don't know. Okay. So it actually has that LC. It's kind of sideways. It's kind of a cursive on the inside of this ring. It's very strange. This is a nice piece of sterling. Um, the crystals are very pretty. I'll put it on. It's very pretty. It's very unusual, guys. You won't find this everywhere. Very unusual. Very comfortable. Okay. Does it fall down? Get back up there. I don't know if this one will go in here either. Whoops. It said no. This is gorgeous. So there's that. This will sit there. This will not sit there. No, it won't. Okay, next we have... You know, this was weird because these two kind of came together in a lot of silver. This is 925 with some, there's a maker mark. The 925 is very crisp. And it says, this is really weird. This says Andrea. And this is, I think this is backwards um, or European date. It says 29.8 of 20. So it would be 8, 29 of 20. So that would be August 29th of 1920. Or eight, nine, not 1920, 2020. That's what I'm thinking. And it's just a band. It's very pretty. And then the larger band is huge. Okay, and it is 
Smart, 18K Gold Plate, FC, and yeah, it's 925 over 18K, GP, FC. I have no idea. It's a very nice man's ring. It's huge. Very, very big. <laughs> Good lord. It is, yeah, it's a 11 and a half. So I'm just going to lay these here because I'm going to price these too. This one here, this great big one will be 25. Um, it's not super heavy, but with the gold, 18 karat gold plate. And the size of it, it's big. Okay. Then this little Andrea ring, it is a bit thicker. And I'm going to put 16 on it. That goes right inside of there. <laughs> then this one is really pretty, guys. It almost looks like a crown. Okay, this is 925CZ. No, 925 C N F Z W. What is F Z W? Whoops. He fouled. Yeah, he fell. 925 C N F Z something. F C H. I was looking for something on the other side, me. Um. But it's really pretty. That's it right there. It's gorgeous. So you have kind of a um, almost like a little wave ring band, like a wave band, and then you've got the um, little round crystals that go kind of they're kind of catty corner to each other it's really pretty I said this was this is right at a six and a half I think it'll go over here let's see Put that on real quick oh that's sweet so that's a six and a half. And everything's there. Let me look at the stones real quick. Oh, those are CZs, but they are pretty. Very clear. They almost look like Swarovski. Swarovski. Very pretty. That on there we'll look at that for a little bit I'm gonna put 16 on that one it's very pretty Isn't that nice okay I'll put my rings over to the side okay so we got prices on those two of the bands and the 18 karat plated okay We have this ring here. It is square on the bottom. It's kind of cool. Um, this might be another one that's not marked. Come on, guys. Okay, I'll put him over there. Most of these rings I'm getting are from a jeweler. jeweler. So for them not to be, you know, it's pretty upsetting. Okay, this is really pretty. Um, this is an adjustable ring. I don't know why I thought this was marked. Hold on, folks. This 
see how I did. I don't think this is marked, but it's not. Wow. Can I set that over to the side? I'm sure it's sterling. I'll show it to you real quick. I'm going to have to test that one. Um, this one actually is marked. S-T-E-R. It's an older one. It looks very much like a Black Hills gold ring. I'll show it to you real quick. It's really pretty. It has the leaves, but it doesn't have the gold tone. There's a beautiful, that's a satin finished silver with the grape leaves and the grapes. This ring is a size seven and a quarter. It's really, really nice. I think it might be an older Black Hills Gold or a lookalike. S-T-E-R, we know that means it's older, very vintage, very pretty. So we'll do 18 on that one. Okay. If I run into any more that are not marked, I will definitely test them and let you guys know tomorrow. This one is... 925 RSE. Oh, I tested this. I forgot. But this is pretty. And plus, I had to clean it. Okay. This is an eight and a half. This has baguettes and about a one carat, I would say. One carat diamond. I don't know what happened to my piece that I did have that showed me, um, hold on, I think I put it down there, um, I don't know if it's a, there it is, this is like a CZ or a, um, just a, this would be about, Hmm, how many millimeters? This is a big one. That would be, it's about, not quite. Huh. That's funny. So how big would that be? Ring. That looks like it's probably close to a carat, maybe a little bit over of a some type of a crystal. Um, it's really pretty with the little baguettes on either side. Definitely sterling, of course. I, I'm hoping everything's sterling except that one. This is eight and a quarter. It is really pretty. This could be a, a faker to take on vacation. It's very pretty. Okay, so let's put 15 on that one. Very pretty. Okay, we have a clotta that actually has some stones in it. Isn't that pretty? It's really nice. See what's written in it. We're getting down to the end, guys. It says size 5, 925C. Hmm. Can I see how close we are? Yeah, well, it's stretched. It's about five and a half. So I don't think that'll fit my ring finger. So 
So let's put it here. It's really sweet. It's got a bigger heart-shaped CZ in the heart, and then above in the crown, it's got three little CZs. Oh, it's got a stone missing. I'll show it to you guys. You see that there's a stone missing right there. So if anybody's interested, just let me know. Um, you know, I'd sell it for six. If anybody would like the Clada, I'll sell it for six. Okay, let's go on. Oh, we got another butterfly. You guys see that? Or is it backwards? Oh, that's just weird. Okay, anyway. Um, this has three rhinestones or crystals. They are so pretty. Yeah, I never thought about what I just did. Okay, this is right at it, almost a nine. It's really pretty. It's just like that smaller one, except it's got the crystals right there. And yeah, that's right. It's right at a nine. Maybe nine and a quarter at the most. It is got a little bit of sterling in it. The filigree is beautiful. Okay. That should go there very nicely. We'll set that there. And on this one, let's do 22. Because it's figural plus it's, you know, the filigree with the stones. A little bigger. Okay. And we have a couple of filigree. Let me do these all at once. These are pretty. Two. Oh, we got a baby butterfly. We've got a toe ring here. And as it is right at the moment, it is a size two. Oh, that's a two and a half. Yeah, it's really tiny. Yeah, it's real tiny. Right there. It's so cute, though. But it is. It's a toe ring. Um, let's put eight dollars on it it's got a little silver behind it okay these two filigrees right here this one here i'm gonna check real quick like i said we're almost done um i'm gonna loop this one and it is it's marked but it is 925 and it says size 8 and NV. Okay. Yeah, and this says about 8 and a quarter. Yeah, I'll put it on this finger. Put it on the knuckle. So it's kind of a rounded dome. Isn't that beautiful? So, what we'll do with that one. Let's do 12 on, 12 on this one. There we go. And the other filigree is just darling. Um, let's see if I can find a maker mark on this one. If not, I will set it aside and I will test it. This one, I think, is rhodium plated. It's very pretty. Oh, no, I know I saw a mark on this. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. 925. M. Uh, something W. FW or something like that, so I know that's fine. It's very pretty. 
it's filigree all the way around. It is bratted size eight. So I'll put it on there. Let's see, I'll put it here. There we go. I'll set that there. We're gonna do 12 on it. Set it right there. We can move that out of the way. Um, we have the beautiful bow. It is just so sweet. It is. Um, 925, but what is that mark? Now that, that mark is NF. I, I, I don't know. It's very pretty. But it also says something over here. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, this is the one that says Thailand. Okay. This is really, really sweet. I mean, it's it's just sweet as a button. Isn't that darling? I just love it. And the little crystals are so pretty. The band is in spectacular condition. The stones could be. I'm looking at them. They very well could be. But I won't say the D word. <clears throat> Is that that hurt? Ouch. That hurt. Put that one there. And this is right at it, I think. No. It's about seven and a quarter. It's just too cute. It is too cute. So let's do 18 on the bow. Not sweet. And we've got another baby ring, like a toe ring, or and it is like Bally, a Bally B A L I design. With a little crystal on either end. It is darling. It's kind of sizable, but it's awfully little. It is right at a three and a half. It's too cute. And we'll do... Let me check this for marks. I don't think I ever looked at this for marks. Hmm. Yeah, that's very unusual. And the little stones are like, almost look like marcasite. They're very nice and shiny. But I know it's sterling. Came in a sterling lot. Okay, let's see if I can get you to see it really well. Not sweet. Okay, so we'll do, let's do seven on that one. This one is just someone made a little wrap ring. It's very cute. I don't think these are marked. Let me see if I think this is amethyst. It is hard to say, but it could very well be. I don't see any bubbles as far as air bubbles. It's kind of cold. It's just hard to tell. But it is sweet. It is uh, like sterling wire. Um, if anybody's interested in a little wrap ring, it's so cute. I'm just going to put four on it. Hmm. 
It is right about a six and a half. So we just put four dollars on that one. Okay. And then we have this one here. I'll show it to you. It's very interesting. Isn't that a cool design? It's kind of almost like to where you could size it a tiny bit. It is. Let me check it. As far as um, markings on it. This one is 925. Um, okay. Mm -mm. I don't see anything else. But it's really pretty. Very unusual. This goes right to a nine, about a nine and a quarter. And uh, yeah, that's cute. Very nice. And it's not very heavy. Let's put um, seven on that one. And And since we're already into an hour and 11 minutes, let's do the scratch test on these two because I think this is beautiful. It's just gorgeous and it's, you know, adjustable. So I know it's a little bit older. Um, I put my scratch for that right there. It sure looks good. And then this one is just cool. It is a square shaped bottom. It has beautiful CZs. These are gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? And I don't think it said anything, did it? Let's see. Nope, I don't see any writing. Okay. So, let's do this one over here. That one's that one. Let's do this here. Mm -mm. I don't think it is. Wow. Just never know. I'm not... Because, you know, I don't get these from the Cracker Jack ball. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, you hope people are honest. Oh, yeah. That one is. Mm, that one's not. Wow. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, so this one is definitely a 925. This looks like a cactus flower or something, and it is just so pretty. It is adjustable, probably up to about a half a size. It is right at a six. Yes, exactly a six. So it could probably go to about five, three quarters or six and a quarter at the most. So that's just beautiful. So I'm gonna put, let's put 16 on that. That's, that's spectacular, so pretty. And this one is a poop. It's nothing. But it's pretty. Yeah. So, if anybody's interested in this. Just for giggles. It is a size. Right at a six. And let's put. Let's put three dollars on it. Woohoo! It's very pretty. Okay, guys. I don't know if you guys saw the message or not because I don't know if it's backwards. I don't know if it was forwards, but I hope you guys saw it. So this video is done as far as my rings go. I have other things to show tomorrow, and I will get back on it. And we will talk to you guys 
whenever I see you again, which is probably going to be tomorrow. And I'm going to try to finish um, my sterling. I'm hoping by Saturday night. Because I have a function Saturday and I hope to do something Sunday. You guys, um, if I don't, you know, if you're leaving or going somewhere and aren't watching videos, have a wonderful fourth coming up here in the next two days. And, oh, okay, I'm putting myself to sleep. And I will get back with you guys tomorrow. We'll try to get it finished. Thanks so much for watching. This is a long one. Talk to you.